Oracle has been promising to change the look and feel of the ARP Cloud applications over the last few years. And the Oracle Visual Builder Studio is a tool that can be used to change the look and feel. And the look and feel that uh, Oracle have been promising to give us is the Redwood look and feel. So in this video, I'm going to show you an example of an application that has been developed using the Oracle Visual Builder Studio tool. And it's a slight modification of the look and feel of the procurement uh, create requisition page. And we're just going to dive in and just to see what we have as a possibility of what's coming. And I'll let me know your comments that down below just for your thoughts on the general and direction that Oracle are taking this application to. So I'm going to log into the procurement page, which is the purchase requisition page. Um, I'm logged in as Calvin Roth and let's have a look. So the page has opened and we can see very quickly that the look and feel is slightly different to what we had before. You can see my requisitions page opening at the top with the with, with the list of all the requisitions in a slightly different format. I believe this the purpose of having this format is to have uh, some kind of um, responsive behavior. So this will open in a similar way on your laptop and also on your mobile phone. So I'm going to search for the item that uh, I want to purchase. Uh, let's just yeah, let's just go for a, a netbook as an example, and this will return all the all the results that will match my search for netbooks. And it, it, it immediately it looks very slick, very easy to browse. Uh, it, it looks really nice. And I'm just going to select my 10 inch netbook 1.66 megahertz Windows 10 laptop. So I'm just going to add this to cart. You can see that the cart is now at the bottom right corner. I'm just going to click on add, add, add this to cart. So that's giving us the confirmation that it's been added to cart. So I can view the cart by clicking on this icon at the bottom right corner of the screen. So this gives me a summary of the cart. You can see the description, the details, the quantity. You can still amend your quantity here if you wanted to. You can if you also want to amend your requisition summary. You can see the deliver to location, the charge account, uh, and the amount, estimated tax, and so on. So I'm just going to click on the edit requisition just to show you what that looks like. Here you can enter description, justification. You can change the delivery location if you want to. Yeah, you can see some of the delivery location. I'm just going to still select Seattle. You can change the request delivery date or you can even enter a one-time address if you wanted to so uh, let's go back to the internal location and select my seattle you can also specify whether it's uh, part of a project so you can enter your project number or search for it on a list you can see the list of projects and even enter uh, a charge account if you have created in in a nickname for a charge account you can select the charge account you can also attach attachment drag and drop and also enter the url it looks really really slick if you've made any changes you can click on the update and that will update your requisition summary and i believe the idea is for this to be very slick very easy to enter as i said let me have your comments below and I'm just going to click on submit. There we go. So it's submitted pending approval. I'm just going to very quickly go to the old, well, the, I would say the legacy version, and then we can compare a few things. So if I go back to the procurement tab, select my purchase requisition, and you can see this is the old look and feel or the legacy. And if I go back to the requisition, which I've just created, just to see what that looks like. But this looks very, very cluttered. There's a lot of things happening 
you've got the shop by requisition you can see the page still the same requisition information laid out in a slightly different way but then uh, some users who would very quickly prefer to raise a requisition and not worry about some of the other bits around this requisition personally i like the new look and feel and let me have your comments below and let's see where the direction of uh, this redwood new look and feel is taking us thanks for watching and see you in the next video